This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. One of the world's most technically advanced rocket stations, a launch is about to take place. A launch that will make history. Three astronauts will travel deeper into space than any man has ever been before. There to watch this historic occasion is an ordinary teddy bear and his extraordinary friend. This is the fastest rocket we have ever built. It will go beyond our solar system and into the nebula of Andromeda. A Andromeda? Well, I went there for my summer holidays. Spotty, shh. It rained. Look, there they go. The astronauts are making their way to the capsule. Mm. I wonder. <laughs> See, I told you, becoming an astronaut is easy as falling off a log. Uh, falling off a log? Uh, how would you do that, Tex? I, I don't think we've had the right training for this kind of thing. What do you mean? I trained you, didn't I? Yes, yeah, but only how to rob a bank. From the control room, everything looks normal as the countdown continues. Five, four, three, two, one. one. We have little. I wonder, did you notice anything unusual, Spotty? This whole planet is unusual. It's spotless. <laughs> We've done it, boys. And this time there'll be no posse coming after us. Uh, no, I can't see any horses, Tex. When I was a kid, I dreamed to have my own brand. I never dreamed I'd have my own galaxy. Meanwhile, back at the rocket base... I don't like it, Spotty. There was something funny about those spacesuits. They didn't fit properly. Jumping jelly, Spotty, did you hear that? Look, over there. Wow, I'm glad you're here. Someone hit us over the head. But watch those snakes. Thanks. Gee, saved by a teddy bear. There's only one person who could tie up people with a rattlesnake. Texas Pete? Yes. Looks as if I'll have to say my secret magic word. We'll use your rocket, Spotty. Yes, it's the only one fast enough to catch them. Thousands of miles away, all is quiet in the stolen rocket. As Texas Pete begins to dream. Texas Pete, ruler of the universe. I'll run to every planet and have it branded with my name in big letters so you can see it in every telescope in the galaxy. Ruler of the nebula. Eat your heart out, Billy the Kid. We're weightless. Tags, I've got a funny floating feeling. As if the ceiling's getting lower. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Not a bone out of place. Bulk! Uh, come on up, Tex! <laughs> and the stolen rocket comes into the range of the spotty radar. Look! There! It's jumping around like a spotted zebra. Right, Spotty. Let's get after them. Get off my legs, killer! You're pulling down my pants! But I got nothing else to hold on to. Tex, look at that lovely rock out there. What? Oh, no! Get out there and stick those bits back on. Oh, no. Oh. But, but it's cold and dark out there, Tex. Get going before I break every bone in your body. I'm going. Up the cold. It's dark. Oh, great, I can fly. Hey. Skeleton. What now? Do you hear what I hear? Oh, not that terrible, Teddy. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Great moons of spot. Oh, I wish I knew how to steer this thing. Oh, uh, ah! I can't 
move a muscle. Not surprising. I haven't got any muscle. Your turn next, Bulk. No. Let me go. Let me go. All right. Now for Tex. Ah! Oh. Super Ted, are you all right? Wake up! You have to stop him. But I know. I'll use some cosmic dust. Oh, ah, thanks, buddy. But bubbling blamange. Where's Texas Pete? We must go after him. Come on. <laughs> He's going to ram my, ram my lovely rocket. Get him, Super Ted. One long burst will do it. Get away from those controls. Try and make me Super Ted. Get those grubby balls off me, 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 little teddy bear. Don't you turn around with me, Texas. And that. Hey, steady on. And that. Ah! Oh, Satan prunes. Did I do that? My rocket! You're going to hit my lovely rocket! Hold on, Spotty. Spotty would have given me a rocket if I'd hit that. Later, back at the rocket base. Well, I'd like to say how glad I am that you were on the spot. Now, don't you start. <laughs> well, uh, goodbye and thank you. And uh, don't worry about the villains. We'll take care of them. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. You were right about one thing, Spotty. Oh, what? Your rocket ship. It can knock spots off anything we've got on Earth! <laughs> 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 <laughs>